All rise for the special session of the Washington County Trial Court regarding the swearing in of Tracy Lynn Hightower. The Honorable Jay Peggy is back. Good morning. And the court does call the case in the matter of Tracy Lynn Hightower. Simpson, you may proceed. Good afternoon, Your Honor. My name is Delphine uh, Simpson, and I am here to present to you the consideration of Tracy was born in San Antonio, Texas, then moved to Korea, lived there for 16 years before moving to Detroit in 2000. She graduated from, uh, from Communication and Media Arts School. And then went to Michigan State for a time period. She ended up there and decided that she her best bet was to attend Wayne State University, the outstanding university there. She, then she majored in public relations. She then, upon graduating, she decided that law school was um, in her future. So she uh, attended Thomas and Cooley Law School. There she made the dean's list on many occasions and received um, mediation training with the DRC here in Washington County. But one of her highlights while attending um, the Thomas and Cooley Law School was that she inter externed for a little over two years and was Judge Simpson's best intern. <laughs> After um, graduating, she decided to go to um, the private sector, where she worked for a large healthcare and wellness company, and then moved into commercial real estate, um, uh, commercial real estate developer in Oakland County, doing most of the transactions and contract work. Recently, she came back to Washington County and um, decided to, um, after about ten years, decided to return back to Washington County and join the wonderful office of the Washington County Public Defender's Office. She has done many, a lot of community work with her church outreach groups and assisted um, with um, filing uh, annual tax returns and 501c filings. Um, with us today, we have the Deputy Chief Public Defender, um, Gordon Brown, as well as the Senior Assistant Public Defender, Esther Gaines. And I believe they'd like to say a few words. Mr. Brown. Thank you. Good morning, and please, this hour of the court. It is my honor also to have the sense of the Tracy Hightower Brown for our consideration for Master Chief Hightower. Um, it's been my honor to work with Ms. Hightower Brown. She has been very helpful in helping me to uh, decide which cases are conflicts and to then um, the so, in terms of the conflict, she, she's the one that tells you no. <laughs> Ms. Gaines, you have a soft voice, but for those on YouTube, if you could speak up. Yes, sir. Just pretend you're mad at me. Sorry. Uh, you know, it is my great pleasure to have the opportunity to say some words on behalf of Ms. Hyper Brown and Ms. Simpson Spencer or the rules to have her spent in today. Ms. Hyper Brown has been a tremendous asset to our office. Between her professional and positive attitude, her creative thinking and problem solving skills, and her diplomacy in dealing with so many different personalities in our bar association and in the public, she has been a real jewel to the point where a person who I shall not name 
said, oh, she passed us. I'm going to take her. <laughs> she belongs to us. <laughs> and so I'm really um, glad to be a part of having such an experience as this with you. You know, I don't get it. And I'm so proud of you. I'd like to say a few personal words. Um, first, I would like to let the court know that this um, is joined here with her husband, Marvin Brown, as well as with a host of family and friends, both in person and on YouTube announcement. And so we welcome them to the ceremony to this, this year. But on a personal note, I would like to say, as I have um, Heard before I met Miss um, Hightower, I heard about her, um, and I was amazed, and I could not wait to meet her. She had become a friend um, to my niece and to my brother. She has been supportive of our family before I even knew her. And then when I got an opportunity to hire her and bring her on board, I knew I was making the right choice. She is a strong advocate for our clients and for the attorneys um, uh, that are on the roster list who provide um, invaluable defense services to our clients. She is a wonderful sounding board for me. And um, just today, we had a meeting with our state funder, and she represented the office well. I could not have asked for a better member of our office. So with that, Your Honor, I would like to move that the court um, admit um, for the admittance of Tracy Lynn Hightower to the State Bar. Thank you. Um, I'm going to, because she told me not to, but I'm going to take a matter of personal privilege and just say a few words. Um, I've known Tracy for, I think it's been 12 years. Um, I think it was 12 years actually this month. Um, the person that I met um, was very sort of shy and unassuming, but what that really was, was her humble nature and her humility. I, because I don't possess those traits, I didn't understand it at first. Um, as she was interning in my chambers, I, it became readily apparent um, that she was, that she possessed a talent that certainly befits the practice of law. Um, but all of the things that have been said about her were evident to me at that time. Um, I have, she was with me for two years and, and I wanna make a special note because I haven't seen her for, Forever, there's Cinewin. I see on Zoom. Hello, Cinewin and Amanda. They were sort of that three um, in my office. Um, if you ever saw the three of them together, it's kind of crazy. Um, that's all I can say about it. Um, the very fact that in a few moments all three of them will be lawyers is just, it's killing me because <laughs> some of the stuff. Well, I won't go into that because that, that'd be a mess. Then next thing you know, there'd be discipline hearings. But anyway, um, but you could tell about Tracy that she was when she wrote her first opinion for me, um, draft opinion, she just her eloqu eloquence in just the language and how she formatted everything um, was just simply amazing. So it didn't, on my part, take a great deal of teaching or mentoring. When, um, and I always told her that she should be in a courtroom. And those of you that know Tracy, if she doesn't want to do something, Marlon, I know you know. Um, she kept telling me that she wasn't going to do that. And I kept insisting and wanting her to take my uh, pretrial skills class. She told me that she wasn't going to do it. She wasn't going to do it. And much like many of our interactions, we went back and forth. Um, on that one, I won. And she 
ended up in pretrial. And she's not one, and I think she will tell you this herself, where she um, likes to be in front of people. But the thing that was interesting to me is that when she got in that class, I didn't know who that person was when she started arguing <laughs> because a different person showed up. Um, but it was that person that was inside and, and made a extremely um, articulate and cogent argument before the court. Tracy, I'm going to tell you, this is sort of hard for me. Um, this has been a long journey. And I know it has for you. I think it phenomenal that over the years that we kept in touch. And it was always a joy to just talk with you and we would just talk about what's going on in our lives and um, through some of my struggles my friend you were there and I want you to know that this judge appreciates it um, and I know that this journey people really knew wasn't an easy one um, but I have to appreciate and everybody should appreciate her fortitude and her desire that she was going to make it happen. And when she told me that, I frankly didn't have a doubt in my mind it was going to. I've been waiting a long time to administer to you the longest oath known to mankind. <laughs> um, it is well worth the wait. Um, Lastly, I would just say this. One of the extraordinary pleasures that I had while you were in my chambers was meeting your parents. Um, mother, wonderful, beautiful woman. And she was just happy to see her daughter as we met back in chambers. My one regret, because I also got to meet your father. Um, an incredible man. One of the reasons I was hoping that you would ask me to do this is because you know how, and I've expressed to you, I always felt about your dad. And so when I administer this oath, I do it for him. Uh, I know that he is looking down at his little girl and he's as proud as he can possibly be. Um, for myself, but also for you, I wish that he were here today. Um, but with that, Ms. Simpson, I do grant your motion to admit Ms. Hightower to the bar. Ms. Hightower, if you would please come to the podium. Or I will administer the oath. You'll never hear this from a judge again, but I'll wait. Go ahead. <laughs> Did you want anybody up here with you at this point? Or are you good? <laughs> you don't do that in a vacuum now. <laughs> Come on up. No. You were there all along those journeys, so I know that. <laughs> Jesse Lynn Hightower, can you please raise your right hand and repeat after me? I, Tracy Lynn Hightower, do solemnly swear. I, Tracy Lynn Hightower, do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of Michigan. That I will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of Michigan. That I will maintain the respect due to courts, justice, and judicial officers. Sorry, Arthur, can you say that again? <laughs> <laughs> Bring it up a little bit more. <laughs> 
Thank you. That I will maintain the respect due to courts of justice and judicial officers. That I will maintain, I'm sorry, I'm like- It's okay, it's all right. <laughs> I will maintain the respect. The respect. Due to courts of justice. Due to courts of justice. And judicial officers. And judicial officers. I will not counsel. Or maintain, or maintain any suit or proceeding, suit or proceeding which, shall to to which shall appear to me to be unjust, nor any defense, nor any defense except, such as I believe, except such as I believe to be honestly debatable under the law. To be debatable under the law. I will employ for the purpose of Maintaining the causes confided. Maintaining the causes confided. To me, such means. To me, such means. Only as are consistent with truth and honor. Only as are consistent with truth and honor. I will never seek to mislead. I will never seek to mislead. The judge or jury. The judge or jury. By any artifice or false statement. By any artifice or false statement. Of fact or law. Of fact or law. I will maintain the confidence and preserve inviolate preserve inviolate the secrets of my client and will accept no compensation in connection with my client's business except with my client's knowledge and approval. I will abstain from all offensive personnel. And advance, and advance no fact prejudicial to the honor or reputation of a party or witness unless required by the justice of the cause for which I am charged. I will never reject from any consideration personal to myself, the cause of the defenseless, the cause of the defenseless or, oppressed, or oppressed, or delay anyone's cause, delay anyone's cause for, lucre or for lucre or malice. In all other respects, in all other respects I will conduct myself personally and professionally. In conformity with the high standards of conduct imposed on members of the bar as conditions for the privilege to practice law in this state. So help me God. So help me God. Counsel, you may approach. I know. Miss Miss Brown, did Miss <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I have the high privilege and honor of presenting to you the newest member of the Michigan State Bar, Miss Tracy Lynn Hightower. <laughs> Ms. Ms. Hightower, is there anything that you wish? To... No. Hey, Daryl. Is there anything that you wanted to say? Um, I do. I don't know if I can get through it, but um, everyone who's here um, is very special to me and very. Even if it's just a year or 10 years or 20 years or my whole life, um, the, the, I do, I do uh, from the bottom of my heart, thank all of you for being here. Um, uh, it was a hard road. I did take the bar exam um, a lot of times. <laughs> Um, 
but it was never, uh, I never passed it, I think, because I was forcing it and I was forcing God's hand, and God never, you know, He has plans for me, and and I was trying to, I was trying to change those plans. Laughed in my face for ten years. Um, well, I tried and tried and tried, but I now that I have passed, and now that I've taken this oath, it's very clear to me that His timing was absolutely perfect, and. Absolutely right. Um, so thank you, Your Honor. Uh, thank you to my family, my husband, who's been there. Um, he says I take every room in the house, and I did, truly, studying for the bar. I had books and computers and things everywhere. Um, but he he has maintained his status as my biggest cheerleader through it all. Family has supported me. Um, and now working in Washington County, I thought I'd come back, but I didn't know if there was a spot for me. So until you called <laughs> and said, "Are you still in for now? <laughs> Yes, I am. Um, and Delphia and Lauren and Joy, it's just, it's, you have no idea. Just watching you guys work is a pleasure. Thank you. We have a couple documents that we need you to sign. We're going to sign them at the podium in our own company. <laughs> My signature is so bad nowadays. The court would now indicate that this special session of the Washington County Trial Court for the admission of Tracy Lynn Hightower will stand adjourned. Congratulations, Ms. Hightower. Um, court stands adjourned.